Hello everyone, it's Arizona Kid here. Uh, going on another ride. Today we are for sure heading out to Queen Valley. I don't care if it's busy or not busy, we are going there. Because this will probably be my final ride for a few weeks, if not a month. A uh, couple reasons why for that is I'm going to take my bike in after this run because it's brand new and it'll be ready for its uh, first oil change and valve adjustment. Now, I already went and bought everything to do the first oil change, but I have done valves before, but it being a brand new bike and being under warranty, I'm just gonna let the dealership do the valves because if they mess up, then it's all on them. And I figured why well, it's there, might as well have them do the, the same oil change, the first oil change while they're there too. So. So I won't have the bike for two or three days and then it won't matter after that because I think, you know, here in Arizona, our governor's not locking us down, but he'd rather uh, stay at home more. I, and I know people think, oh, going and riding my ATV is at recreation. And, and it is, but a lot of places I've been going to ride the ATV, there's been really clusters of people there, you know. I I know I stay alone by myself, but I don't know. It just isn't that important to me right now. I can go without riding for a month. I think I'll I'll make it okay, you know. So this will be my last ride for uh, for April, and I'll try to do some videos maybe around the house or or maybe a video uh, getting my bike back from a. Uh, the garage and showing what they did to it and stuff like that but uh other than that yeah that's probably the only ride and i keep calling this the queen valley run so another thing said with that i'm going to queen valley and i don't know if this is what this riding area is called or not because it's right next door to queen valley i mean literally you turn off the road to go to queen valley then you turn off another road and i know it's on the 60 like you're going to superior and it's mile marker 214 you would turn left into Queen Valley to get there. So I wanna make sure I say that. And then it's your first major dirt road, turn off to the right. Don't know the name of the road, but it'd be very hard to miss because if you drove all the way into Queen Valley, then you missed it. So uh, yeah, so mile marker 214, if you're leaving Phoenix area, going towards AJ, then going towards Superior, mile marker 214 you turn left which would be north and there's even a train track right there that crosses the the highway which is like wow to me even though i don't believe that that train track's ever used anymore but uh yeah so that's where we're headed i'll stop talking and i'll talk to you guys when we get there all right everybody i'm here i keep calling this the queen valley area let me shut that off. Let me take a look in at this sign. See if it's actually called something else. Hey, it is called something else. It's called the Hewitt Station OHV Trails. So this is where I'm at. That's some crazy things you can go see, see? It doesn't have the elephant head on there, but that's what we're gonna go see first is the elephant head. So I'm gonna stop talking, get the quad unloaded. I probably heard someone shoot there. They're shooting loud here. Get the quad unloaded and then uh, head on out, guys. And I'll see you on the trail in a minute. All right, everybody. Got the quad running. Got it out of the truck, as always. And uh, we're gonna start. Heading down the road there a little bit. Like I said, this is some place you can go shoot if you want to go shoot. Looks like it's got some road work. This road for the most part is pretty well done, but it's not even a bad road, so nice area. So we'll 
head on down the path and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit again. We're gonna turn left right here to this Woodbury trailhead. And even though it says that on the sign, my Garmin thing says it's Hewitt Canyon Road. So honestly, I have no idea what it really is. I'm trying to see what road I'm on now. I think it was called some kind of station road. Let me see what it says. It says see, it says I'm on East Hewitt Station Road. So maybe that's Woodbury Trailhead. Anyhow, how confusing everybody, but I'm gonna turn left here and uh, we're gonna head down this for quite a few miles and then we'll uh, we'll run into uh, the, uh, the elephant head, which it's funny because all this stuff that's marked out here telling you what to go, what to see, Oh, this, see, then that says it's Forest Service Road 172 we're going on. Hey, it looks like there's a little bit of water here. Well, I'll be darn. I've come here a few times, guys, and I've never found water in this. Which is crazy, because it hasn't rained for a while. I wonder where the hell the water's coming from. Huh. Interesting. So, let's go through this water. It does say it's flash floods out here a lot. The first time I've seen that much water. So anyways, it says it's Forest Service 172. Back there it says Woodbury something road, but we're gonna head down this road for a while. And uh, then I'll catch back up with you guys and we'll see there's the, the sign that says Forest Service Road 172. But uh, we'll head down this for a while. And uh, I probably won't talk to you guys till we get to the elephant head, but it's, Quite a few miles down here, I'd say. So, uh, we'll talk to you soon. I'm gonna get riding. Well, hello, everybody. This is that 172. It came up out of there, out of that little, look down there, it's like a little wash. It's got water running through it, actually, but came through these mountains. That big old mountain right there is beautiful coming through, but we came right up to these mountains which are beautiful mountains. But right there, try to zoom in for you guys. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look at that, it's supposed to be an elephant's body. You can kind of see the butt. Like I'll cut a point out there, see if I can get it on the camera. So right there's the butt. I mean, my fingers, it doesn't focus. So butt, head with a snout. So, Pretty cool, huh? They call it the elephant out here. With all the cactus and the beautiful mountains. Sounds like someone's coming hauling butt on their quad behind me. But you'll hear him probably go by. I don't want to film because I don't know who he is. But beautiful area. There he goes on a dirt bike. Beautiful area out here, guys. But yeah, that elephant right there. Hopefully you guys can see it. That's the coolest thing ever. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go keep riding some. Here comes a side by side. Keep riding and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hello everybody. Turn that noise off. So it's kind of a cool spot. Tree right there. So I went off the Forest Road 172 onto OHV Route 252. There's a lot of stuff to see out here. I mean, buildings and stuff. I don't know if I have time to do all that today, but at least I showed you guys the 
elephant. And then this is kind of a cool spot. I mean, when the water's running, it looks a little bit better. But right there, it's like a crazy waterfall. But right now there's it's barely drizzling down it. <laughs> but we've come down here before and this little spot right here has just got, I mean, not like where you gotta be scared to be down here, but it has like a little run, you know, stream running down. But as of right now, it's kind of just drizzling. So still a pretty cool little spot. You know, I always talk about my wildfires out here <laughs> and look, orange, my orange wildflowers. No, they're all over in this area, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's even some over there too, next to the yellow ones. So hope those are coming out where you can see them. But, but anyhow, that's it. I just wanted to come and show you this little waterfall area which it isn't really a waterfall right now because there's not enough water running down it so the foreman's doing pretty nice like i said i'm putting the last few miles on it to take it in here so it'll go in tomorrow afternoon and won't get it back for a few days but but oh well hopefully i can get out and ride some more i just don't know we're getting a bunch of restrictions here in our state so I don't know if I'll be able to get out anymore, at least for a month. Hopefully not longer than a month, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get going again and I'll see you guys a little bit more on the trail here in a sec. Well guys, here I am. This is the, the 252 I told you I took. And then gives you another sign here to say where you went. I can show you, this is where I am now. And I went all the way down, make sure I get this right, to here. And that, that waterfall was about right here. Next time I'd like to take you guys all the way up here and then we'll go to the, the crack and the Barnett camp up there. Maybe down to the rock corral, but those were, well, the rock corral is that crack is that and the Barnett camp is that so maybe next time we'll do that over here at the Hewitt Station OHB trail kind of cool that right now in Polaris even though I don't own a Polaris anymore but right now is where I actually bought my quad and where I am going to take it so pretty good place this is confusing here though so it has this sign over here tells you everything and then it has this 172 now how i understand it a forest service road would be horizontal that's a horizontal sign and then these are ohv trails and they're vertical signs but this vertical sign says 172 over here is a vertical sign so it makes you think well and it says trail so is 172 a forest service road or a trail. How confusing, Arizona. At least that's how I was taught. Because my plate right now is just an RV plate. And I don't care if you guys know my plate. But uh, an RV plate. And you're supposed to have a motorcycle plate if you're going to go on the horizontal trail. So I'm confused. I haven't done mine yet because all the DMV places have been closed with, uh, with everything going on now. So I haven't been able to go there and... Uh, change my plate i figured i just bought it hopefully if i got pulled over they would understand and not give me a a ticket of any sort but anyhow pretty cool mountains out there that's the direction of the elephant was over there on the other side of that mountain actually so even i come back to this map over here we're here the elephant thing was right around here so it was a little ways up there but uh Anyhow, I'm gonna get riding, get back to the truck, and this will be it for my ride. I put quite a few miles on, so at least I got closer to my 100 miles, but I'll show you guys that when I get back over there. So uh, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey everyone, I'm back. Bikes loaded up. I actually took even my little bag off the back 
and my license plate and everything and my mirrors off because I'm thinking I'm just going to take it right now on the way home and drop it off. It'll be there a few days early, but yeah, at least I dropped it off already and it's done. It's not to worry about anymore. Uh, I think this was a pretty good trip on it. I'll show you guys the miles real quick. Uh, shoot, let me see how to get here. So quit, quit, quit. Trip computer, there we go. 32 miles, almost 33 miles, guys. And we're out here a few hours, so good times. I love these uh, Garmin's. I mean, I don't have the most newest one. I think the 66 is the newest one, but they're pretty cool. But anyhow, guys, once again, this was, uh, you know, Sonoran Desert, a wonderful state, all this cactuses and stuff. Uh, didn't see no hill of monsters today. I did see a little snake cross the road Javelina, yeah, I didn't see none. Cactus, uh, a little owl, no. But I have seen uh, Hill of Monsters before. They're not something you really want to run into. They're not no fun. Uh, scared uh, my wife's uncle was one of them one day. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Once again, Hewitt Station, OHV Trails, you know. Make sure you have your, your decal, you know. We talked about that a little bit that I don't quite understand if you need the other decal or not, but. Uh, also, uh, go ride now, Polaris, you know, even though I do have a Honda, they sell Honda too right now. They sell everything. But, uh, cool place. We'll be back again here, you know, beautiful scenery, not too busy today. And, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I mean, if you like this stuff, please subscribe. I'm going to keep doing it, even if you don't subscribe. It sounds kind of funny to say. I just enjoy making these videos now. It gives me something to do. And uh, hit like if you like it and uh, leave messages. Let me know if you want to see something different or, you know, have me show more of as I'm riding. I don't know if that's something you guys want to see or not. And if it is, then I can do it more. I just think that one uh, that I did, that was like an hour long. That was a lot of riding. So I don't know if that's something you want to see or not. But uh, yeah, pretty cool spot. So we'll uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.